Wolves of Croton, the untold story of Milo. What does it mean when a man's name is remembered thousands of years after his death? By the completion of this story, perhaps long before, you will learn many answers to that question. Prologue. In stadiums routinely packed with tens of thousands, the Crotonian wrestler would enter the arena, then walk the entire oval, amazingly carrying a full-grown bull across his back. As he paced the track, the imposingly muscular strongman welcomed his cheering fans to slap the loins and tug the tail of his colossal bovine pet. Esteemed for his unfathomable prowess, he was called by the ancients Milo. Born in Croton, Italy in 559 BC, through progressive adaptations and adherence to various unorthodox conditioning methodologies, Milo of Croton became the most dominant Olympian wrestler of all time, reigning as an undefeated world champion for an unprecedented 30 years and one who went on to crown a martial career as a revered military commander. Before you are escorted into the amphitheater of Milo's life, unveiled in Volume 1, Books 1 through 5, we will first establish a chronological framework elucidating the ideological infrastructure and mythological beliefs the ancients lived by and committed their hearts to. This journey will exhibit the geographical topographies and time periods in which Milo and his genealogical influencers walked the earth while revealing psychophysiological lineages to such mythological deities as Kronos, Zeus, Mars and Apollo, the demigods Romulus and Remus, and the mighty Hercules. In Volume 2, Books 6 through 20, commencing with Milo's birth, a chronological depiction of his formative years will be revealed. You will observe the Cretonian transcending various stages in his maturation, from a child into a teen, then into an adult, and learn about his unusual relationships with a mongoose, a dominant pack of wolves, and his celebrated pet bull. You will also attend many of Milo's pioneering strength conditioning sessions and wrestling practices. Furthermore, in the following pages, you will meet Milo's teammates, friends, and foes. Take a seat inside the Olympiad Arena where he accomplished his most illustrious wrestling achievements, then march onto a battlefield where an aged Milo commanded a numerically inferior army to fight Croton's arch enemy in a great battle the historians have revisited for eons. What does it mean when a man's name is remembered thousands of years after his death? Get your dual volume 20 book manuscript of Wolves of Croton, the untold story of Milo, and you will learn many answers to that question. We begin this story on a terrifying day, 26 years before the birth of Milo.